Y'all may or may not have heard the story that I'm about to bring to you, but it's a very sad, very sad story. And it's crazy how it all happened. It's like it was full circle. But this young girl, her name was Sandra or Sandra Parts. I'm not exactly sure how her name was pronounced. And she was 13 years old. Back in 2016, she wrote an open essay or a letter for a contest for a Martin Luther King Jr. contest where her essay got um, third place. Her essay was about gun violence. And this past Monday, she ended up getting killed by the very same letter that she wrote because a stray bullet came into her house, hitting her in the chest, and she ended up dying. And that's why I said it came full circle. Now, they have found the two guys that were involved with her shooting because it was, I guess it was a sh maybe a shootout between the both of them. And they found both of them. And both of them were both black men. Let me see if I can uh, scroll because I know that they mentioned uh, their names in the article. I have to scroll down a little bit to find it. Give me a second. Um... Isaac D. Barnes and Untrell Oden. One was 26 and one was 27. Both of them can have their lives thrown away after they're thrown in jail. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I don't. And see, what kills me sometimes is I have these trolls come into my channel and say that I don't talk about videos or topics such as these. I had one come to my channel today mad or upset about... um. A topic that happened or something that happened back in February involving some black people I said look I get a lot of topics all the time and I don't know which ones are sometimes that I do or do not get or maybe sometimes I may miss them because I get a lot of emails I don't miss them on purpose I don't so to sit there and try to say that I don't cover topics such as these is absurd anyone who, who knows me or who has followed my channel uh, or channels in this case knows that I cover a lot of stuff from every spectrum and this right here is really messed up this girl was only 13 years old and she got killed in her own house by a bullet that wasn't even meant for her this reminds me excuse me of like ayana stanley jones the only difference in that case is that these men are going to jail as they rightfully should but the men however who killed her ayana stanley jones were cops and they did not get charged with anything nothing that girl was murdered and they were not put away mainly because they were cops and they were white. These two guys were not cops. They were both black and they're both most likely going to go to jail for this girl's murder. And when I was reading through the article, they said that the, the, the bullet came through her window and hit her in the chest. And then she walked in. And this is the, sad, this is the saddest part. She, she didn't die immediately. It said, according to her mother, she walked into the room where her mother was and said, Mama, I've been shot. Can you imagine your child being shot by a straight bullet and walking into your room with blood on their shirt and them telling you that they've been shot and they just fall to the floor right in front of you? Like that has to be one of the most traumatizing things that a parent would ever have to experience is to see their child die in front of them after they said they've been shot. That has to be extremely devastating. I can't even imagine what her mother has to be going through right now. Her, her, her daughter was only 13. I wrote a letter about gun violence and got killed by the same thing she talked about. That is really, really messed up. They better throw the book at both of those guys because they do not deserve to be on the street. And when I was also reading through the article, it says they had previous armed robbery convictions and possession of a um, gun arm, um, gun, not gun arm, but firearm possessions in the past. I said if they would have got them then, this little girl would still be alive. But they continue to let them run the street. See, this; those are the type of people, those are the type of guys that need to be in jail. No, oh, they want to go after the ones who have clean records or someone who might have a little bit of weed on them. Something that's nonviolent. But when there are ones who are violent, they let them run the street. And when they get someone, then that's when, when they want to lock them up. I said if they would have got them before, this girl would still be alive today. But nope, that's just the way our system works. It's, it's very ass backwards. But to be honest, it's working in the way that it always has been working. 
But I offer my condolences to this little girl's mother, her family, her friends. As for those two pieces of shit, good luck to them behind bars because that's exactly where they're headed and they're going to need it and they're most likely going to put them in gin pop and when they find out what these two guys did it's a wrap for them they're probably going to throw the book at them and to be honest i don't feel bad for them they deserve every bit of a punishment that they're going to get in front of that judge and when they go behind bars y'all let me know what you think down in the comments like share subscribe the links will be in the description i'll talk to you in the next one